I was reading the Bible yesterday with the girls, and and Tulu grabs the Bible and starts eating it, ah, just like full throttle. I'm like, no, 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 don't eat the Bible, don't, no, don't mess it up. And I'm like, what? Or eat the Bible? Uh-huh. You're under something, Tally. Come on, let's go. You get brownie points in heaven. <laughs> and we're in the third principle here of discerning God's will, and uh, I couldn't think of a more better introduction than what my amazing nine-month-old did. She ate scripture. But here's, here's the third pr- principle of how you can know God's will for your life. It's commitment in advance to do His will. You must be committed in advance to do His will. And I can't think of a better committed in advance to do His will story than the one found in Luke chapter 22, verse 42. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, but not my will be done. Let your will be done. And then it says, an angel came and strengthened him. And th- and this is what it's all about. This, this principle is all about setting aside your preferences to doing his and, and making his preferences the top of your priority. And what this will do is this will align you with him. And guess what? He's perfect. And he has a perfect plan for your life. So it aligns you on a straight path. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. All your ways acknowledge Him. He will make your path straight. That's that's the simple truth, the powerful truth that we all need to hear today. There's so many paths in the world today, but there's only one God who makes your path straight. So what are you desiring every day? That's what it has to deal with, right? What are you desiring every day? Because what you desire reflects what's in your heart. And if what you desire in the world is reflected in your heart, then it's going to produce dead actions. But if you desire the living, perfect God of the universe, creator of all things, then what that's going to do is going to reflect the creator of the universe, the maker of all things. We are his image bearers. So with that powerful truth, we image what we eat. I'm reminded in John 4 verse 34, speaking of eating, when the disciples came up to Jesus, hey, hey we, got, we got the food, man, we got the food. Jesus has been, been evangelizing and, and powerfully speaking into this woman's life at the well and, and transforms her heart and then spreads seeds throughout the whole entire town. town. He's like, hey guys, my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. So how can we do that? How can we really eat God every day? How can we spend time with him every day? Well, let's memorize scripture. Let's put it on our hearts, right? Let's put it on our hearts by memory. Let's memorize it. Let's read it, read it. Talk to him every day by reading scripture. You say, James, I don't have time. Well, we can listen to scripture. James, I don't have time. Well, every day you drive in your car, don't you? Put scripture on instead of anything else that you listen to. And here's here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Remember this truth. Remember this truth today. As you put His will in your mind, as I'm committing to it in advance, no matter what season, no matter how difficult it is to, to say yes to God, I am going. I am selling that house. I am moving to that country. I am starting that church. My flesh and my heart may fail. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalms 73 verse 26. Make him your strength and your portion.